Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it has been a minute, I know. Um, and what better way to like try to make a comeback than with an empties video? I don't know. This is all of May and June. Um, you know, not a ton of makeup empties, but for me, like I'm always proud of anything I empty out because I just don't like to have a ton of stuff in the first place and I hate, you know, build up of things. So we'll be showing things I'm decluttering because that's usually what I tag on to the end of my empties videos. So definitely stay tuned um, for that part of the video as well. Let's just get started. I have nothing more to say. I just hope you've all been doing well. I've been doing okay. It's been busy, but I'm chilling now because yeah, I'm a teacher and have some more time on my hands now, finally. So let's get into it. Skincare. Okay, so let's see. I used up the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. This is the ultra lightweight, oil-free, has ceramides, blah, blah, blah. So this is good. Really liked it. It was certainly lightweight, didn't break me out, had no issues with it whatsoever. Um, my thing is I just like to use face oil. That's what I like to use, like grapeseed oil, something like that. Um, I prefer that over this. I was trying to like break away from doing that just to do something else and switch it up. But at the end of the day, I still went back to using grapeseed oil. So it's fine, good. I know people that really like it. I just... Yeah, just a preference thing. While I would buy this again because it is good, I am kind of more interested in like Korean skincare. And if I'm going to buy a, you know, facial moisturizer, like this type of thing, like a lotion, I probably might veer towards something like that um, in the future, but never know. But yeah, this is decent. If you're looking for like a lightweight thing, it works. And this lasted me so long, but I don't know if that's also because I was going back and forth between this and a face oil, you know what I mean? So that could have been why as well. We have this Coco Kind Vitamin C Glow Serum. I don't remember now if this was like a repurchase or not. It was very important to me to have vitamin C in my skincare routine, but I haven't repurchased any vitamin C serum since I ran out of this. This is from May. So I haven't been using a vitamin C at all, and I'm not sure if I can tell like if there's a difference or not. I kind of miss using some sort of serum during the day. So I don't know. I, I don't know if this does anything, but I wouldn't be against, you know, throwing in a vitamin C again in the future. Um, I don't know, like, it's not like a ride or die thing that I notice, but I don't think it can hurt. I don't remember if this had a fragrance. I don't think it did. Definitely had a serum, like, texture to it. It wasn't like an oil or anything. It was like a classic serum, and I don't think it did anything bad. It was gentle. Um, definitely more cost effective than like a bunch of other vitamin C's you can find out there for sure. Definitely a good one if you're looking for something a little bit cheaper, gentle, you know, I think does something for you and feels nice on the skin. I don't know. Um, but won't be repurchasing that in the immediate future. Again, trying to get into like Korean skincare when I run out of all my current things, like get into that and that's my main focus right now. I have this Beekman 1802 Goat Hand goat milk hand cream. I wouldn't call this a hand cream. This was just like a very thin lotion with tons of fragrance and I do not recommend if you're looking for something to keep your hands moisturized. I don't really use a lot of hand cream like this time of the year but winter I definitely do and this just wasn't good. Um, I had a bunch of things from Beekman 1802 because it came in a set and I like that stuff more than this like this just was bleh, no would, would not repurchase that at all just doesn't work that well for your hands um or any part of your body unless you just want straight up fragrance and water mixed together that's what it felt like and there you go so that was that's a no <laughs> the scent was way too strong too it was like one was the honey grapefruit wasn't like a bad fragrance but it wouldn't be something i'd pick out you know what i mean so that's gonna be a no speaking of fragrance uh if you followed my project uh my Rolling 10 project pan, which I kind of suspended, sort of, might be bringing it back sometime soon. Uh, but I emptied out this Happy Vibes Fragrance Mist by Bath & Body Works. This is, you know, obviously like the travel size or mini, whatever the heck you want to call it. And this is very citrusy, fruity scent. And yeah, completely done. One less fragrance in my little stash there. This was nice, I guess. Like I started um, getting more liberal about using body sprays and not being so like, you know, treating it like a perfume, you know, cause they're body sprays. Like you can kind of spray them a little bit more liberally than a perfume. I was needing to get this finished and this was a nice scent. It was fine. Like I had no problem using it to finish it up, but it's definitely not something I would repurchase. It's not my kind of fragrance these days. I'm not sure how I feel about body anything right now when it comes to fragrance. I'm just using what I have and then we'll see what happens. So this might not seem like a big deal, but I finished up a Dove um, 
antiperspirant deodorant. This one is in the fragrance vanilla and cocoa butter and this was fine enough. I'm just really freaking glad this is done because I feel like I've had this forever because I switched back and forth between this and a aluminum free one which I'm using right now and I just don't want to have two deodorants okay. Um, I know why I had both because I felt like one was more appropriate for when it was like winter and then I felt like this was more appropriate for like when you get sweatier but I'm finding that like I don't know like I might be okay using an, a no aluminum one all year long um, or I could be okay just using a regular deodorant all year long. I haven't decided but the point is I only want one and this one worked okay. I don't really find myself consistently sweaty but I think it really depends though like it depends on what I'm wearing where I'm at like so I don't know but I'm just glad to finish this because I had it forever. It was decent enough. It smelled good. Um, I don't really like super strong fragranced things, but at the same time, I like a pleasant fragrance. So this was fine for that. So it was good. I don't know. I don't know if I'd buy that particular one again. I might, again, venture off into other brands, but that was decent enough. It did the job and wouldn't be opposed to buying Dove again. Probably will try other things. I have here the pump but not the product but yeah this was for baby shampoo i use that all the time for washing my face it still works i still use baby shampoo this was a brand from i don't know why i don't have the bottle like an organic brand from aldi that is just okay they had a brand before that that i liked they're like other brand that they used to sell and then they stopped selling that so i just went with whatever they had and the organic one was okay like it did the job but you know when you have like a texture thing and like you just feel like other ones are a little slippier and like nicer to use. I didn't feel like that was this. So then I went with Target's and I like that one better. So I will not be getting that organic brand from Aldi even though it was fine. Like if I was in a pinch and I need something like fine. But I like the Target one better. It just feels slippier and I like how it feels. It like is smoother or something. But in general, yeah, I just buy baby shampoo all the time for removing makeup. So that's nothing new around here if you've been following my channel. This is kind of beauty, sort of. Um, I finished up an entire bottle of this Dr. Bronner's 18-in-1 um, Hemp Eucalyptus uh, Pure Castile Soap. I already repurchased this just in the green one. I forget what fragrance that is. I think that one's like the almond flavor or scent, whatever. Um, and I really do like this for washing makeup brushes. Um, I know you can use baby shampoo for that. But this works a little bit quicker than baby shampoo. I don't know, that's just my experience. I feel like it takes more out. It's also much more concentrated, I think, than baby shampoo. I mean, it's just whatever you prefer. I not only use this for washing brushes, I use it for like laundering sometimes. If there's like a little stain I'm trying to get out, I feel that this works really nice. You can dilute it too. I just like it. I don't know. I've always had it. Um, I've always repurchased it when I ran out and I probably will continue to repurchase it. It takes me a long time to use up one of these things, so. There's a lot in here. What is this? Like 32 fluid ounces. So depending on your needs, like it could take a long time. And I was mainly using this to wash my brushes. So very handy. If I'm trying to wash like a liquid foundation brush, I will put some like oil on it, like grapeseed oil first and then use this. And that is really good at taking everything out. Moving on to hair stuff, we have the L'Oreal Magic Root Cover Up um, in the shade Dark Brown. I got through two of these. Um, yeah, so this I use in between dyeing my hair. I have repurchased these back to back for as long as I can remember for a while now maybe up like a year now I've been using these maybe two years at this point so they're, it's really really good I haven't tried any other like sprays before but I don't think I have a reason to try other ones if I like this one I don't know but maybe I will so I said all that only to say I haven't repurchased this yet um, because I wanted to try like powder hair shadow as opposed to a spray just to see if the control was a little bit better. I was on TikTok and there was this like, you know, the ads and whatever and one came up. I didn't get that one off TikTok. I actually went on Amazon to find like a different brand. Um, so I'm working with that right now. That's kind of what I have in my hair as we speak. And I, I think I like it. Um, it's a little bit different than this. So I'm just trying to like work with it and see how much I like it. But I didn't repurchase this yet. I think I will um, just to have the option of either using this or the powder um, just to have it, you know. Um, but I'm also going to be dyeing my hair soon. So I might not get to that for a little bit. Right now that's like my go-to thing for root cover-up spray. I probably will repurchase that again. Um, that's the only one I would get at this point. So if I'm going with a spray, but right now I'm using a powder. We'll see how it works. Eva NYC Main Magic 10 in 1 Primer. This is, uh, so it strengthens, it's a heat protector, reduces frizz. I mainly use this like 
as a leave-in conditioner type of thing um, after the shower. Really like this. Um, this is an oil and I really like the smell too. It has like this, kind of like a vanilla, but like tobacco vanilla kind of smell. I don't know if that's a accurate description, but I do feel like it made my hair soft for sure. Um, the only thing is it's not travel friendly and I do take that into consideration when I buy like hair products, um, moisturizers, whatever, because I do travel enough where it makes a difference. And uh, yes, it leaks, it does leak. That's the only thing that's deterring me from getting it again, because otherwise it's a great product. I really recommend it if you're not going anywhere. <laughs> um, even if you aren't going anywhere, it still kind of gets a little bit oily on the bottle. So I think that's just how these products will get. If it's like an oil, it's just like goes with the territory, but it's good. It's such a good product. Um, maybe I would get it again, maybe, but I'm kind of experimenting with having less hair products right now. Like even though frizz can be a thing for me, um, the products I have right now, which aren't necessarily marketed as leave-in conditioners, I'm going to try experimenting with it to see if they can be used as such. I'm playing around with that right now, but again, trying to not repurchase things that I might not need to repurchase. So this is great though. I, I do like this a lot. So this is one I would like to remember that I liked. I just can't travel around with it. Okay, let's talk about makeup. This is the Lorac. Pro Soft Focus Longwear Foundation. This is in the shade 7 Light. And this was a great foundation. This was my second bottle of this. Um, so I liked it enough to buy it twice in a row. And I definitely would get this again in the future. Um, but the way I am with, you know, pricier foundations, I do not tend to buy them back to back because it's just, I like to be flexible with different types of foundations. So right now I'm wearing drugstore. I like it. Um, but yeah, I would definitely get this again in the future if I feel like that's what I want to do. It's a lot thinner of a formula than, you know, your traditional foundation, which can be a little bit thicker. Um, this goes on very thin, but it provides really nice coverage. The finish was really nice. Like it wore well throughout the day. Um, yeah, it's just a really, really nice foundation. That's why I bought it twice. Yeah. And I really liked the shade match. I felt like that was good for me. Um, yeah. So I don't know, I would repurchase this again. Nice coverage, a little bit of a fragrance. Felt like I didn't notice it as much over time. Like it wasn't like a fragrance, like a floral fragrance. It was just like a weird, like, I don't know if chemicals is the right word or like no fragrance fragrance. I can't explain it, but yeah, looking for lightweight, you know, medium coverage that can probably be built up. Like give it a try. It's about 40 bucks. So, and of course I use coupons. Who's trying to be spending more on foundation if you don't need to be like, not me, so. I used up this little guy. This is the Wet n Wild Copper Eyeliner. I don't know if you guys remember this from like projects I've done in the past. Um, and this is as much as I could get out of it because there actually is no more product left in here. It was like a little clear stopper was at the end. And that that's like, Listen, I'm not complaining because I don't need this to last that much longer. But um, yeah, that's a decent amount that they just didn't put pencil in. But at the same time, I was glad to be done with it. It was really, really old. This is great. It was like Wet n Wild's color icon line. And I don't think they make that anymore. But it was a really, really good eyeliner that went with a lot of looks. It was a perfect like defining but not too stark of a color type of shade and I loved it and I can't believe it's done because it was in a project for or projects for a really long time but yeah it's been a long time since I finished the stick one so I can't even swatch it it's just like a pretty like coppery it's called copper sparkle but to me it felt like almost bronzy it was nice but very happy to get it out um jack black lip balm this is shea butter and vitamin E. This is SPF 25 and this is so good. I already repurchased this. This was, I think, a repurchase, I want to say. I think I'm on my third tube of this. Yes, yeah, third tube because I think I repurchased the same one and then now I have the pineapple one. I love it. There's SPF in it. It actually moisturizes your lips. It's not like a drying lip balm. And it feels nice as a nighttime mask too because the SPF doesn't taste like SPF. You don't taste it really at all. So you can wear it at night. I loved it. I already repurchased it again for the, in the pineapple version or whatever. So I do like it. And there's other flavors as well. So definitely smells like a light Carmex scent if you know what I'm talking about. Um, like a plastic baby doll scent. <laughs> it's like, that's like the weirdest description, but like, that's what it reminds me of. But it's good. You have this, just a 
not famous brand of lip balm. This is like something my school likes to give out like during like wellness week. It's like, there's a million other ways I could think of providing wellness than giving us a chapstick, but that's okay. That's okay, I'll take a free chapstick. This one is just, um, it's called Naturistic. It's in Vanilla Luxury, and this was fine for like, if you were in a pinch and if you wanted to base like a lipstick without being too greasy, like this was fine. I definitely used the heck out of it. You could say I like dug it out too, because that's what I do. I did buy a replacement chapstick in addition to this guy. It was fine. I'm obviously not gonna repurchase that because why when there's like a thousand other brands out there. But glad I finished it and finished up some cotton balls. And these are just like the 100% pure cotton ball, 70 count jumbo size from Ulta. Already repurchased those because I use that stuff for my nails toners whatever um a blue corn beeswax candle this is more of like a home item i know it's not like beauty but it's still interesting um i used this up a couple of months ago actually so this isn't really like a recent empty but kind of and it's beeswax so it doesn't have a fragrance to it um i mean i'm sure they do make fragrance beeswax candles but this had no fragrance and i just wanted to like experiment with this type of thing because i heard beeswax is supposed to be good for your home i don't know if that's true i don't think it is i think it's just like people saying stuff i do like candles for like the ambiance but more so that than fragrance these days but i do have a trader joe's fragrance candle that again my work gave me the, the trader joe's candle um which was sweet i don't know if i would repurchase this like anytime soon because i don't have this urge to light candles right now but i think in the winter and fall i would because that's usually when I would light candles more so than like summer. I don't know, that's just like how I am, but I would, I definitely wanna try the Trader Joe's candle that my work gave me. I'm really curious about that. That's like a mango orange thing. Definitely good candle. I got this off Amazon, by the way. Um, and I don't know, it was nice. Nice for the ambiance and no fragrance if that's what you're looking for. It's kind of the path I'm on right now, but I'm, you know, I still have a fragrance candle that I wanna try out. So there's that. So, okay. Might get that in the fall or winter. Here are some things that I am decluttering for my collection. So real quick, I have this Bobbi Brown pale pink blush, which is pretty in theory. It is pretty, it's bright. You know, that's really in right now, like the bright blushes and you know, I get it, I get it. And I think they are very flattering in general on people, but I don't know. I just felt like on me, it was okay. Like I didn't find myself like, particularly drawn to this as much as you would think I would be for like being Bobbi Brown, for being like a pretty color. Like, I just felt like on me, it was just like, mm, you know, I don't know if it's like my skin tone. Um, you know, I do have some brighter blushes in my collection, but they're not this particular hue. I just, I don't know, it was just okay. And it, it was kind of like forgettable. Like I would pull it out because I haven't used it in a while, but then when I would put it away, I would kind of just like forget about it again and just like whatever. Um, so I just don't think this left an impression on me as much as it did maybe when I first got it. I really liked it. And these days I'm just like, would rather use other stuff. And it, it is very finely milled. Like there's no like real kickback and you can tell the pigmentation is there. Um, part of me kind of wants to play around with it like maybe like two or three more times to see if I really want to declutter it. But I think I just should just get rid of it because I feel like this happens every single time I pull it out. Like I feel the same exact way towards it pulling it out as I do putting it away. Like it's just not changed over the past couple years. So I think we're gonna get rid of this blush. Um, I am decluttering some eyeshadows. So I am getting rid of the Fireball eyeshadow by NYX. This is just a little too like pure coppery, like orangey red. Like I tried wearing this a couple times, maybe like two months ago, a month ago, whatever. And I just felt like it was like too much and I didn't like how it, I just never wanted to reach for it, first of all. It's like a little too bold and I just don't think it does anything for me. So I'm just gonna let this go. It's just not something I would reach for and I don't find myself like naturally wanting to use it. And even when I try to use it, I'm like, ah, uh, I don't know, not really my thing. This is Get Lucky by ColourPop. This is one of their su super shock shadows. Yeah, so this was actually a really good one at one point. Um, I really like this shade, but now it's just like too dry to make work and it's like flaking off and you have to like really work at it to get it to show up, which it does, but who wants to drag their eyes with eyeshadow? Not me. And I don't want to buy anything to revive it. I don't care about it that much. So I already got rid of a couple of these that I don't know if I have any of them left, to be honest with you. I, I don't know, but they all dried out. So I never got to use them like up all the way. I think one of them I maybe hit pan on, but the rest were way too dry. So 
not buying these ever again. Like, I, I think they're good, like, in the beginning, like, when they're not completely dried out. Like, I see a lot of those in Project Pans, and for good reason, because people want to get their money's worth, which, tch, I get that, man. Like, use it up while it's still good. But mine is dried, and we're saying goodbye. All right, I'm coming back a little bit later in the day because I forgot to mention this um, declutter. This is the Rimmel London Hurricane Gray Eyeliner. Um, do not have any idea if they still make this, uh, but it's pretty old, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's discontinued. But this is just a basic gray eyeliner. And while it looks fine, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I just... I don't know. I just felt like I would reach for like just a black or a brown or a purple. Like gray is fine. Like I get that there's a place for this type of thing. Like if you're not looking for something really stark and you want some definition, like this is fine. But it's also kind of blah. At one point when I had this, I just wanted to have like all the colors and I wanted to have like all the different neutral shades. But now I'm like, I don't know. I don't think it's necessary. <laughs> like again, it doesn't do anything for my eyes besides like providing basic definition, which I, you can get from any other eyeliner in my collection. And honestly, I can just use shadows. I just don't feel like it's necessary. I'm either gonna just go with black or some other color. It's just average, it's mid. So I'm like, I don't think I need this in my collection. I don't want a huge eyeliner collection. I think I can do without it. I'm at that point with some things where I'm like, if I can do without it, let's do without it. You know, what the heck. Also excited to decrease my eyeliner inventory yet again. And I'm getting rid of this. Okay, I'm going to cover up the label because, again, my work during the wellness week gave us some of these, like, Vaseline, like, mini things. And they changed the label in the front. But it is Vaseline because the cap legitimately says Vaseline on there. I don't remember Vaseline having that kind of fragrance. I feel like Vaseline didn't have a fragrance at all. Like, plain old Vaseline. Unless this was, like, a fragranced one that I just... I don't know, but this one has a weird fragrance, so it's kind of fruity. It's a little overpowering for me, which is weird. Again, I don't know if this was like a scented Vaseline type of thing, and the formula is terrible. I might be able to forego the fragrance if the formula was okay, but this just feels like it sits on your skin, and it's like greasy and not in a good way. It's not good for your lips at all. It has like a weird texture to it, like... Like it's not gonna sink in, just oily almost. Like I've had the bigger tubs of that stuff and I don't remember it feeling like that or smelling like that. So I don't know what the heck that's about, but I'm getting rid of it. I kind of hope to come back and make some more videos now that I think I have more time. I, th I think that's safe to say right now. <laughs> Might be revamping some projects a little bit now that I kind of can see my collection a little bit better and how I'm using it this summer. Like might be kind of bringing a project back or might not be. I don't know what's going on. But um, thank you for watching though, whatever the heck happens and whenever I will post next. And I hope you catch me and I catch you in my next video. That would be awesome. And definitely consider liking and subscribing. Have a great day and thank you for watching. See you later guys. Bye.